Today, on an incredibly sunny Saturday, I'm in Salford, Greater Manchester, and behind me is a Vodafone 5G site, which I will talk about a little bit today. For 5G, this mast uses Huawei AAU5613 64T64R massive MIMO panels, and on the 2G, 3G, 4G side of things, it has Huawei AOC antennas, which carry UGO9, LOA, and 44R L21, which is what the remote radios beneath the antennas are carrying. These AOCs have cluster ports, which will then later carry O2's L23 at a later date. Maximum performance off this, we've been getting peaks of about 400 megabits per second. Pretty much all of that's been coming off the 5G side of things because scheduling can get a bit strange on uh, dual connectivity on some of these sites. I'm now in Salford Media City and there is another Vodafone 5G site behind me. This one is a little bit different, although it still has a Huawei AAU for the 6440-64R 5G, but on the other technology side of things it uses a Huawei APE and also has 2600MHz 4G for Vodafone. So you can see that we're getting about 400 megabits per second peaks on the NR side of things. Again, it's not getting scheduled very much throughput from 4G. You see there's occasionally some going up there. Today I am in the city of Manchester in the northwest of England testing out 5G which is currently available here from two operators, EE and Vodafone. But for the purpose of this video I'm going to be focusing on Vodafone of whom there is a 5G mast right behind me. This 5G mast, like all of Vodafone's 5G ones in this region, is using Huawei AAUs for a massive MIMO architecture and performance is so far very nice. The other antennas on the mast, the longer ones, are for their 2G, 3G, 4G, and they are Huawei AOCs, including the cluster ports, which will later house O2s, 2300 MHz with 88R. All the rest of the standard ports carry, say, Vodafone 4G, band 2800 MHz, band 1, 2100 MHz, and band 7, 2600 MHz, and frankly, even the 4G performance from this is in the several hundred megabits per second range. So it's very, very good. But to be honest, Vodafone Manchester is really fast anyway. 